Welcome back to my school bus conversion. Today I'll be adding a mini split air conditioner for cooling in the summer and heating in the winter. spent a long time trying to find a leak in the air conditioner lines. It turned out that the leak was actually in this fitting that came with the air conditioning vacuum testing kit. Uh, so there never was a leak in the lines, but I pressure tested it with nitrogen, verified that, and then ran a vacuum and it held for 15 minutes, which is what the manual says to check. So it's time to release the refrigerant. The installation manual is rather sparse about certain things. And it took me a while to figure out that this is a five millimeter um, hex uh, valve, despite the pipes being uh, imperial. a little while to get the wiring figured out, uh, but this is now connected and seems to be operating. So let's try putting it in cool mode. And it's blowing cool air. Yes, it's working. The outside unit isn't very loud. It basically sounds like a fan the compressor is very quiet. So I don't think that'll be a big issue, especially as it's all the way across the workshop from the indoor unit.
The installation manual recommends running five minutes on every setting to verify that everything is working. However, uh, it's not actually turning the compressor on in heat mode because the maximum temperature that I can set it to is not as high as the current air temperature. So the first real test of it in air conditioning mode is to cool down the bus to the point that I can try and test the heat mode. And now we're testing it in heating mode. Seems to be working fine. Air coming out is warm. It's not hot, but that's to be expected because it's not like a, a space heater. It uh, only heats up a few degrees, but it heats up relative to the ambient air coming in. So that should be plenty fine to keep this small area warm in the winter. And that will conclude this week's video. Next week, I will be installing the solar panels.